Michael Jackson's sudden death has always been a topic of conversation in the music industry. There are some people who think that Michael Jackson might have even faked his own death so that he doesn't have to live that superstar lifestyle anymore. And then we have people like Janet Jackson coming out and saying that his death was actually planned. Now, who better to hear from than Janet Jackson herself? In this video, she literally describes the details, okay? The details of what we call handlers, the people who are closest to the artist, such as Michael Jackson's doctor, for example, you know what I'm saying? Or Kanye West's trainer. This was something that has been discussed in multiple occasions on how a lot of times artists are assigned handlers, people to guide them, people who are closest to them, that have access to them. To do stuff like this, yeah. Okay, Janet Jackson is saying uh, that Michael Jackson was killed by his handler, yeah. We're about to hop into this video. Hear all of the juicy details. Make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe. But without further ado, he is the one that was administered. Let's get this. Blame Dr. Murray for your brother's death. Yes, I do. He is the one that was administering the drug, mm -hmm. as as uh, from what I do know. Mm -hmm. So I do. So Michael Jackson's death at his Los Angeles mansion was attributed to an OD of propofol, a surgical anesthetic used in operating rooms. And yes, Michael Jackson's personal doctor, Conrad Murray, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter for his part in MJ's death, and he even served two years in prison. But trust me, it's not as simple as that. Your Honor, I am an innocent man. I therefore plead not guilty. Okay, Murray, if you say that you are innocent, were you the fall guy? Because from where everyone is standing, things are still not adding up. Who really is responsible for MJ's death? And why was he being set up to die literally for years? Well, his family members are still seeking answers and a proper explanation for what really happened to MJ. I'm sorry, Robin. It just, I know, because I keep saying the same thing. I couldn't believe, I just, I, it's still to this day, it's still so difficult for me. To believe it's, it's Janet Jackson That's definitely crazy, feels like MJ's death may have been a setup, but she's not the only family member who believes that. MJ's sister Latoya did also spill that there was definitely something fishy about her brother's death. I truly feel that Conrad Murray is simply the fall guy. Mm. This was definitely something that was premeditated wow. that they had planned to do and they planned to take my brother out and my brother knew it and that's why he told me repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly that this was going to happen to him wow. according to latoya the explanation now, michael what gave i found more interesting is the fact that um <clears throat> they all have the same noses yeah <laughs> i don't know if they all went to the same doctor but the, michael jackson latoya and Janet jackson they all have the same noses that is crazy her for thinking someone was after him was that they were after his catalogs he explained it to me he explained it's because of my catalog which is my publishing and they're after it and they want it and they'll put they want their hands on it and they want to take it away from me so michael developed this love-hate relationship wow. with his catalog not the first time latoya said that by the way in an interview with cnn she also made it very clear that she knew the death was planned because first of all michael told me that they were going to murder him he was afraid. He was, was afraid for was his life. According to LaToya, when Michael walked in the house that fateful night, whoever it was that greeted him, he knew that his end was upon him. And as soon as he had passed, some of the very people he had expressed suspicions about started controlling his estate. In fact, she wasn't scared to drop a couple of names, one of them being Dr. Tomei who managed Michael's affairs towards the end of his life. Apparently, as soon as Tomei began acting as Michael's business advisor, he fired key people who had been close to Michael for years. And once Tomei shut out the rest of the world, he was able to steer Michael toward business ventures that were profitable for him and his friends. Sounds like somebody had an agenda, right? And if you ask Latoya, she will tell you that Michael Jackson's only daughter, Paris, also believes her father was unalived. And I just wanted to say I love him. So much. In fact, in her book, Starting Over, LaToya wrote about Paris's description of her father's final days, which were, daddy was always cold. Dad Am I bugging or does this sound like, obviously not the same thing, but something similar to what happened to Tory Lanez? As soon as Tory Lanez got his own masters, Rock Nation was looking to sign him. And since he didn't sign to Rock Nation, they threw him in jail. Michael Jackson's catalog is probably worth damn near almost close to a billion. He is the most popular artist ever. One of the most popular artists ever. 
His catalog is worth a lot of money. People are trying to kill him for that? That is wild. For his publishing? To murder him over publishing is crazy. Daddy was always freezing. He would sit and fall asleep by the fireplace. He would always cry, and we would watch to make sure everything was fine. And he needed a doctor, and then they turned the lights out. We were in the dark, and they cut the phones off. On Paris's description of her father's last words to her, Latoya also wrote, Prince and I were arguing, and Daddy said, stop fighting with your brother. I'm not always going to be here, and you're going to have to be the lady and watch over him. As for what Paris herself said, she was asked in an interview with Rolling Stone whether she believed the death was a setup, and this was her answer. Absolutely, because it's obvious. All arrows point to that. It sounds like a total conspiracy theory, and it sounds like BS, but all real fans and everybody in the family knows it. It was a setup. Up. Then when asked who she thought might have wanted her father dead, she replied, a lot of people. Paris also added that she hopes to one day get answers that will at least provide some justice for her dad, saying, I definitely do want justice, but it's a chess game, and I am trying to play the chess game the right way, and that's all I can say right now. I mean, for all these family members to say that MJ's death was a setup, there's definitely something there. Other than the family members who've made it clear that it was all a setup, another person who has openly suggested that the death was definitely planned was Kanye West. Of course, we all know him for his very controversial Twitter rants. And in one of them, he was like, MJ told you about Tommy before they him. Kim saved my daughter's life in the name of Jesus. It's God's choice only. I will live for my children, Chris. I'm in Cody if you're not planning another one of your children's Playboy shoots. Kanye was definitely referring to MJ's bitter feud with former Sony CEO Tommy Mottola, who worked with him from his 1991 Dangerous album to the release of Invincible 10 years later. It didn't quite end well, and MJ himself even called him out. The record companies really, really do conspire against their artists. They steal, they cheat, they do whatever they can, especially the black artists. Sony, Tommy Mottola. Tommy Mottola is the president of the record division he is a mean, he's a racist, and he's very, very, very devilish. MJ Damn. also said in 2002 Damn. when he was in London, I own half of Sony's publishing in, and I'm leaving them, and they, they're very angry at me because of it, but um, I just, I just did good business, you know? It's, but, um, so, the way they get revenge. And Tommy Mottola is a devil. You know, I personally wouldn't be surprised if Tommy had anything to do with MJ's death because these devilish acts weren't just on MJ. Like he does have a record of being nasty to a couple of people in the music industry. The thing is, most of them have never been open, but MJ calling him out on several occasions, just imagine what Tommy would do to such a person. Anyway, other than claims that people who wanted to control MJ took him out, of course, there have also always been claims that MJ was taken out by the Illuminati. Apparently he became a target in 1980 that is the Illuminati. When he purchased publishing rights for much of the Beatles' back catalog. And because that acquisition and several others gave him too much power, he was on the hit list to be unalived. Based on reports, he further angered the Illuminati with the video for his song, Black or White, which is said to have demonstrated his rebellion against the secret society. The reports then further went on to claim that members of the Illuminati tried to get rid of MJ by setting up false allegations about him hooking up with children. And when the trial failed to go their way, the Illuminati planned his death. Honestly, if that whole Illuminati thing is a lie, then consider the possibility that the people who wanted his catalogs came up with all those allegations about him taking advantage of children when they failed to control him. Then they set him up to die and probably use Dr. Murray. And I know that money was definitely involved if the death was actually a setup because a lot of people gained from MJ's death as opposed to what they would have received if he was alive. Apparently, the people who wanted so badly to benefit from the death even faked MJ's will just to make sure they were in control of everything. Well, as much as there have been all these rumors about MJ's death being planned, there have also been allegations that he is in fact still alive. Allegedly, a border officer even saw Michael Jackson crossing the border from California to Mexico. But to date, not a single person in Mexico has seen MJ yet. Maybe it's a bit far-fetched to assume he is alive, but let me know what do you think. Do you believe his death was a well-planned setup? And who is at the top of your stuff? Well, some people think that Michael Jackson is still alive. People think that Jeffrey Epstein is still alive. People think that Tupac is still alive. I'm not going to lie, y'all. If I was an artist living in the limelight, 
you have to understand that there comes a point in time when you don't want to live in the limelight anymore. Like there was one time that Michael Jackson rented an entire grocery store for the day so he could just go shopping like a normal person. He hired all of his friends, family, and close friends to come and act like they were just citizens in the store just so he could go shopping like a normal person. If I had as much money as Michael Jackson did, I would probably fake my death too. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to be so very completely honest. I would probably fake my death. But look, y'all. I'm going to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.